Proportion is not too difficult. If you are told that y is proportional to x, it means that there is a pattern linking x and y every time. Now this one I think is probably fairly obvious. We're looking for the same pattern. Now proportion means multiplying or dividing. And I think you can see how to get from x to y every time, the x coordinate has been times by 10. 10 divided by 1 is 10. 30 divided by 3 is 10. 50 divided by 5 is 10. This, of course, must therefore be 70 times by 10. And the rule is that to get to y, we do 10 lots of x. Now, it's not always as obvious, but if you're told that y is proportional to x, then in this case here, we're looking at what you times x by to get to y. Now, if you get a calculator and do 3.6 divided by 3, and if you do 6 divided by 5, you find that the answer is 1.2. So the multiplier is just 1.2. Once again, 3.6 divided by 3 is 1.2. 6 divided by 5 is 1.2. That is therefore the pattern. So if x is 12, 12 times 1.2 is 14.4. We can therefore find the missing value, and it means that y is always 1.2 lots of x. So y is proportional to x means that it is a common number which you either multiply or divide by to get from x to y. This is very similar, but sometimes they can be called a non-linear pattern, which is where y is proportional to, for example, x squared. And you're given a table with x and y in. And if you do 20 divided by 2, you get 10. But 1 to 5 divided by 5 isn't 10. And that certainly isn't 10 either. It's not a pattern, as before. The pattern changes. But if we work out x squared, so 2 squared is 4, 5 squared is 25, 10 squared is 100, that is where the pattern lies. If you do 20 divided by 4, you get 5. 1, 2, 5 divided by 25, 5. 500 over 100, 5. The pattern is times by 5, but it links x squared and y. We were told the pattern involved y and x squared. That is why we knew to work out the x squareds and compare those to y. So the rule is that to get y, we do 5 lots of x squared. Second example, we're still told y is proportional to x squared. So it's not the x values we care about, it is the x squared values. And if you then do 13.5 divided by 9, you get 1.5. If you do 54 divided by 36, you get 1.5. If you do 73.5 divided by 49, you get 1.5. So the pattern is times the x squared values by 1.5. So we can finish off by saying that y equals 1.5 times by x squared and not x, because y was proportional to x squared.